Welcome to a tutorial on the SOLIDWORKS Animator as demonstrated in SOLIDWORKS 2006 Service Pack 4.1. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to animate a crankshaft and piston assembly of a 12-cylinder engine. The tutorial will be broken down into four segments. The first segment will explain how to animate a zoom-in sequence. The second segment will explain how to animate individual components of assembly. The third segment will demonstrate how to fade and hide individual components. And the last segment will show how to explode and collapse a component assembly. We will use two out of the 12 pistons and cylinders in this tutorial to make it easier to visualize. To animate a SOLIDWORKS assembly, first go to Tools, Add-ins, and click on SOLIDWORKS Animator. Next, open the SOLIDWORKS assembly that you would like to animate. For this segment, we will show you how to make a zoom in animation. Click on the Animate tab in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. This brings up the Animation Feature Manager design tree and the Timeline window. In the Animation Feature Manager design tree, the View Orientation command controls whether changes in the assembly are recorded or not. Using your mouse, right click and unlock the view orientation to allow changes in the assembly to be recorded. In unlock mode, the view orientation will be a telescope icon. In lock mode, a padlock icon will appear. Once this is done, move your assembly into its initial position by clicking and dragging or using the standard views window. Then drag the time bar to the time when your animation will end. In this example, we chose a 5 second animation. Move the assembly into its final position. Then lock the view orientation command to prevent further changes to the assembly position from being recorded. Click Save in the Animation Feature Manager design tree. Name your assembly appropriately. A video compression window appears. Click OK. As it saves, it plays back your animation. Your animation is now complete. Press the play button to view the animation. If you want to change the duration of the animation, Reposition the diamond shaped key point to a new location. This concludes the zoom in animation segment of this tutorial. Next, we will show how to add motion to our piston crankshaft assembly. In the view orientation icon, right click and select suppress. This prevents the zoom animation from being viewed. When suppressed, the, color, the icon color changes to gray. To rotate the shaft a full revolution in an animation, the shaft must be turned in four discrete motions. This is because the animator will animate the shortest distance between points and will not recognize a full rotation of a part. Place the time bar at the time of the first rotation. Two seconds is used for this example, which places the bar at seven seconds. Next, rotate the crankshaft approximately one quarter turn. Then click the nine second mark to set the time for the next rotation segment. Rotate the shaft another quarter turn. Continue advancing the time and shaft positions two more times, ending on the 13 second mark. To show the zoom in animation in addition to the motion animation, right click the view orientation icon to unsuppress it. Press play to view the combined animation. To 
colored bars on the timeline window correspond to the motion of the individual components. The green bar corresponds to the crankshaft, which is the driving component, and the yellow bars correspond to the assembled parts that are being driven. If you want to change the starting time of the rotational motion, slide the blue diamond-shaped keys of the corresponding components to the desired starting point. Here we move the keys to begin the rotation after the full zoom. To see the full animation, press the play button. Save the new changes. This concludes the motion animation segment of this tutorial. This segment we will show you how to fade out and hide selected components in your animation. Slide the time bar to the position when you would like the component to be hidden. Here we choose the 6 second mark. Right click on the desired component and select hide. Here the right hand cylinder is chosen. A pink bar extends to the 6 second mark from time 0. Press the blue play button to run the animation and see the fading and disappearance of the component. To make it reappear, copy and paste a new blue diamond marker at the location where the component will begin to reappear and to where the component will be fully in view. With a time bar in the final position, right click on the component and press show. As you recall from the last segment, you can control when the starting point of this animation begins by dragging the starting diamond. Press play to run the animation. Another option to change component properties is to right click on the component, choose appearance, where you can change the color and optical properties, such as tr transparency. Here we show you how to make an exploded animation of the assembly. Click on the exploded view icon in the toolbar, select each component, and move it by clicking and dragging the axis symbol in the desired direction. Repeat for each component. Click OK when you are done. Then select the animation wizard and click on the explode button. It will then automatically generate animation keyframes. Press the green play button to view the exploded animation. To collapse the assembly, click on the wizard again, select the collapse button, click OK. Press the blue play button to view the exploded animation. If you want to add a pause between the explode and collapse animations, advance the timeline before beginning the collapse sequence. This concludes the SOLIDWORKS animation tutorial. We hope it was informative. Good luck and Godspeed.